Hi there, my name is Olivier Girardot, I'm a music composer and a sound designer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create the sound of a shooting bow and arrow. To create this bow and arrow sound effect, you will need a couple of very simple objects. A balloon, a ruler, a thin stick, and a shoe. Here is the sound we are aiming for. Let's break it down to see what's going on in there. There's the sound of the bow bending, the shooting sound, the whoosh of the arrow and the impact sound. So let's get into it. We'll use the balloon to make the squeaking sound of the bow bending. And then this ruler for the sound of the arrow vibrating just after hitting the target. and the stick to create the whoosh of the arrow flying. Some coffee to stay awake. And the impact sound. Let's put all this stuff in my DAW and see what we can do with that. Here is my work session where I have added all the recordings I did earlier and a few more that I'll show you later. After recording your sounds, you will probably need to clean them and process them with some equalization and pitching if necessary. Let's listen to the full sound effects. So first we have my balloon squeak sound for the bow bending that I had to pitch up a little because it was too deep. Then I used one of the ruler sound to illustrate the moment when the arrow is released. I didn't plan that at the beginning, but it works out pretty well. After that I used the whoosh recorded with the stick. I pitched it down a little and doubled the track as you can see because the original recording was too thin. I have added a panning effect that is represented by the two red lines to create a movement effect of the arrow flying away from the bow. In this case it is going from center to right, but this is really up to you. To finish this sound effect I added my foot stomping the ground for the impact of the arrow hitting its target and the ruler vibrating sound to imitate the arrow wiggling just after hitting the target. And here we have our shooting an arrow with a bow sound effect. But let's have some more fun. You can add whatever sounds you like to make it sound more realistic depending on the environment that the action is taking place. Now let's say the archer was shooting at a living being and add some flesh and blood sound. Here are a couple of squashed oranges sound recordings from my punch in the face video. Check out the link on the upper right corner if you want to learn how to create some punch sounds. Let's add those squishy sounds. How about a scream? Okay, I'm not really an actor, so it doesn't sound that great. You can also use the famous William scream that we hear in every single movie. Okay, that's it for today. But before I end this video, let me show you a few of the bow and crossbow sounds that I have created using this method. You can find all those sounds in my online shop ogsoundeffects.com.
Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions or if you have any topics you want me to cover. Thank you. Bye-bye.